Welcome back to Houston Life. If you're into rock or if you're into metal, you might be into a popular band called Godsmack. And if you're into Godsmack, there's a good chance you're as thrilled as I am for our next guest, Sully Erna, lead singer of Godsmack. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for joining us on Houston Life. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. So you are doing something really cool. Uh, La Burge Casino and Resort in Lake Charles in Louisiana, two hours away, quick zip down the road from Houstonians. You're doing a, I want to say a full out concert, but it's really an intimate experience where you'll be performing and telling just some of your stories that you really haven't shared before. Yeah, we actually haven't done this kind of a show since 2004. Um, when we were touring with Metallica, as that tour ended, we went out and we did an acoustic tour, um, just kind of stripped it down and it went over really well and people really enjoyed it. Um, but it's a nice kind of event to even take your family to, your moms, your dads, like if you're a, a kid or a teenager or in your 20s or 30s and you know, you happen to like Godsmack for the big, you know, powerful rock shows that we usually do, then this is kind of, so the other side of that, you know, this is the actual, um, the more intimate, sexy side, we can say, of the band versus the big, angry, you know, <laughs> this is like, you know, this, this is something you could come to, take your parents or whoever you want and, you know, a date or your wife or whatever, have a nice glass of wine and watch like a really cool musical performance, hear some cool stories, you know, and, and just kind of take the journey with us. That's what we want to do on this tour is like really create a way to take the audience on a journey, a musical journey. And Lake Charles is a fun little getaway for a lot of our viewers. So um, we're, we're encouraging them to go. And this isn't your typical melt your face off God smack tour, but it's still something that I think is going to be just so relatable and, and cool. Um, how have, how has the documentary been received? Um, and, I just the bravery to tell all, all of your story I just think is so cool I can't really say that enough but you know putting this out originally you know starting with the book was just something I wanted to do for myself I didn't even think I was going to get a publishing deal nor was I looking for one nor did I even know how to write a book by the way I was just again writing down stories in my own words and after my manager seen this thing he was like well you know this is really good and informational you should think about publishing this and then it went on to get published. But, you know, the, the, the whole concept was for me to just kind of document the, the stories so I didn't forget them. But again, as it, as it kind of got shaped and tweaked, it really did become like a story of perseverance. And I just thought it was important to share that with the world and the audiences because there's so many people out there that struggle, you know, with mental illness, that struggle with these kind of like, um, anxieties and depressions and um, just, you know, have their own challenges and obstacles that life has thrown at them. And some people, you know, they don't, they don't last, they don't survive because they don't know how to cope with it. They don't know how to reach down inside yourself and find that inner strength to rise above it again and move forward. Right. And that's really what this, the book and, and the whole um, story in the documentary is about, because I mean, again, the book is just a blip of some of these things that happened to me in my life. And the, the documentary is just a blip of, of the book because there's so many stories in the book that, that didn't make them into the documentary because again you know you can't have a five hour documentary you are I, I feel like in this season of sharing more about your really intimate personal life what brought that on now I wanted to kind of write that book because I wanted to show people that you know we're not born rock stars and actors and actresses and successful like you know we've all had our challenges and mine was extreme at times um, and so the book just be, kind of came that it became, became a little bit more inspirational in that way um, to help people, you know, find their inner strength. And then, you know, obviously over the years, uh, some people have wanted to do a documentary based on the book that I wrote. And that's that's kind of how this whole thing came together. And, you know, but it's a little tricky to stick 30 years of your life 
into a 90 minute film as well. I love that, Sully Erna, lead singer of Godsmack. Thank you so much. I Stand Alone, the Sully Erna story based on his memoir, The Past We, Sho the Past we Choose, is streaming now on Apple and Amazon. The performance in Lake Charles is at La Berge Casino and Resort. It's going down February 24th. So we are totally, totally looking forward to that.